Hi, this is Emily Jensen from Audi Richfield, and today I have a 2022 Audi e-tron GT. We're going to take a look at how to charge this vehicle, where the charging ports are, which levels of charger you can charge on either side, then we're going to take a look on the interior on how to set the level of charging and set a timer. We'll also take a deep dive underneath the car and take a look at the battery firsthand and see that super smooth surface for that super low drag coefficient and actually a lower center of gravity than the R8. Let's take a look. So now we're on the passenger side of the e-tron GT where you're going to have your level charging for one, two, and the DC fast charging, which is level three. So you'll release the door right here, pushing on that edge, and then you'll reveal your charging port. To charge at level three, you'll flip down this little door. We all see that there. And then you grab your charger. Luckily, we have a level three charger here for in the shop when vehicles are being worked on. So we'll put this in here. Wait for that click that you hear there. Then you'll see, when it starts illuminating, it'll turn white first. It'll run your initialization process, it'll check and make sure everything's all good, there's no weird voltages, there's no weird anything going on there. Then eventually when it turns to a pulsating green, that's when you know it's charging. The other icons that are in here is it'll turn red if there's a problem, it'll turn green if it's solid, full done charging, it'll also pulsate blue if it's on a timer. So though that diagram is listed right down in here, which is what I'm reading off of. So it's still initializing here, and if I turn and look at the charger, it says running isolation test. That's ensuring that the vehicle is grounded, it's all set and ready to go, and would you look at that, it's charging. Pretty easy, pretty simple. When you're done charging, you're ready to disconnect the charger. That's when you press your charging button, and wait for the light to come on here to turn. See how that light turned on? That's when you know it's released. Press the button, and pull out. Then bring it back over to the charger. Then to close the door, push it down and push your finger right in over right where it is. That's a level look at this charging on level one, two, and three on this side. We'll hop over to the driver's side to demonstrate level one and two and the charger that comes with the car. All right, so taking a look at the charger that comes with the car, this is the charger. This is your box right here, which will tell you when it's connected to the main ground, when it's connected to the car, or if there's a problem with this transformer here. There are two attachments. This is for level one, which is your standard 110 outlet, which you can see here, and there's a level two attachment as well. I left that in the trunk. For this purpose, I'm gonna show it with level one. This end, which has a cover on it to protect from getting anything on it, pops off right there. I'm gonna plug that into the wall here and demonstrate how you would install that on this side of the charger. All right, so after I'm plugging in my charger in the wall, I would go to the car, open this door, and you'll notice there's no spot down here for the level three charging as that's only available on the passenger side. So when everything's all plugged in and good to go, I've confirmed it by looking at the transformer box. Then I put it in here, wait for the click, Good to go, and it'll run the same process where I'll have initialization and things connecting, making sure everything's all good to go, and it'll pulse, and just like that, pulsating green, charging, good to go. Same with this side, you press this button here when it's all done, ready to go. Wait for the lights to come on, that was a little quicker on this side. Push this in, and then pull out firmly. Then when you're all done, push this in, and then latch it there. Now in the interior of the e-tron GT, I'm gonna demonstrate how you would set the maximum charging level and timers. So if you go into the vehicle settings here, click under charging and efficiency, go under charging, this is where you can set your maximum amount of charging. Right now we have it target at 100% charging as we're trying to get this all the way charged for the next owner, but you can go in and set this manually where if you click this, you can plus and minus at the different ranges. And remember, Audi says that charging to 80% for daily use is best for battery maintenance if you can charge it to 100% if you are looking to um, do long trips. Then, so after we set this back to 100%, good to go, and move on to the next side, that's where you can go in and char set your different timers when you want it to charge. Let's say, for instance, you leave at 745 every morning. It'll be charged with the interior such as the correct temperature you want. Let's say you want to set it 72 degrees and leave at 745 every morning. You can set the timer here. Every day, it'll be ready for you at that time. This doesn't have to be set in the car. This can also be set in the My Audi app. Make sure you have your Audi brand specialist set that up for you and you should be good to go. taking an insider look at the e-tron GT and actually going under the car so you can take a first look at the battery. This diffuser that I talked about in a couple of my other videos where it's super aggressive up front, it's almost completely flat when you come under this way. And notice things like the screws and everything that goes into it. 
almost completely recessed to keep that super smooth undersurface for that really low drag coefficient of 0.24. Walking this way, notice this is where the battery pan starts. All these different bolts, they're all recessed through here. We'll walk under here. It's a lot to take in. And then we have more of that fabric here coming towards the front almost completely flat all the way down. You can see this is where some of the air ducts are coming in from the front of the car. And then now if we do a complete 360, and then we can see this way, one more thing I wanted to highlight is these air ducts here for the brakes. Being as this is a much heavier car than you would assume for a regular sedan, you would assume the brakes would get a little bit hotter. So they made sure to put air ducting here to keep the brakes extra cool. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to check out all my other e-trend GT videos and all the other Audi videos on my channel. Let me know if you have any other videos that you'd love to see.